Um, hey everyone, it's Gabrielle, and I'm here with Ariel and Claire. <laughs> um, we're doing the, what's it called? Mad Libs Challenge. The Mad Libs <clears throat> Challenge. Do one of you want to explain it since I don't know what it is? They've done it and I haven't. So. Okay, so basically Mad Libs are a story and there are blanks and you fill in the blanks with like adjectives or nouns and in the end it makes an interesting story. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna like, I'm gonna have water in my mouth and then they're gonna like try and make me laugh with the story or something. Yeah. Yep, so we're going to, you're going to film, we're going to film the blanks from what you say. We decided to do doubles, and with doubles, they're both going to try and keep their breath or water somebody, something, somewhere. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to piss myself off with you. Should I just restart it or continue where we were? Continue? Mm -hmm. Okay. Feeling her desire, <laughs> his tongue began tracing them delicately, wetting her appetite. Samantha responded by reaching down his earlobe. Her exciting touch shook his spine as he realized that his swift dreams were about to be transcended into a, a satisfied reality. Okay. What is the... <laughs> the moment closed his eyes and sent shivers through his body as he let out one big moo, <laughs> tilting his head backwards. Oh my god. The movement through his body pushed his erection harder into her hand. Goals? What the heck? Okay. Samantha replied by unfastening his, his shirt buttons and painting on the pers perspiration and mm -hmm. glistened his blue nipples. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Okay, then she proceeded to lick his firm, muscular chest. Goals. Mm -hmm. Bless. Okay. Her tongue traveled along the thin midline of hair, <laughs> leading the way to the gen- leading the way to the generous mat of curls that announced his- his phallus? I don't know what that was. Okay. Her hand shook as she tried to whisper the button fly on his creepy lined shorts. Okay. Their soft check texture and loose cut revealed the exciting member that rippled within. Samantha's arousal peaked as the fabric fell down, making Jake's teeny weeny ornament. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hashtag trash. <clears throat> um, being totally taken by her rabid, ravaging flower pots, Jake untied the little straps that held up her sundress. As her garment also fell to the floor, her soft sexually breasts got perky. <laughs> her nipples darkened, becoming Pog with excitement. Jake took them one by one into the voice <laughs> cavern of his mouth, teasing them with his scrumptious talk. <laughs> oh. He remembered the day before when she uh, brought her body to the complete gratification. Cool. Um, <laughs> and hoped <laughs> he would not fall short of satisfying her with the same intensity. Jake's muscular fingers and and veins throbbing within them, carried Samantha to the firm queen-size bed. <laughs> he placed her across its width, her hair dangling off the edge. Every inch of her body was covered in dust, despite the obvious heat. Jake began devouring her. Licking, sucking, pounding everything that came in, in his path. His mouth finally landed on the bare film of cotton bikini that clung to her, to her seat of throbbing tension. One swift touch and the obstacle was torn off her flesh. That's really weird. Okay. <laughs> there lay exuberant split fruit. <laughs> Lib liberally, li yeah, liberally framed the soft, tense coils of hair. 
displaying its desire to be partaken of. Uh, Jake in indulged the little soldier that stood firm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, guarding her gates of paradise. Um, as he felt her tense and vibrant from the excitement of the upcoming rapture, he flew her <laughs> slowly, lust slowly and lustfully. He thrust into her. Oh my god! Um, trying to give her the unhurried pleasure of tantric sex, alternating focus between the yin and the daddy. <laughs> His staying power amazed her. He gave a vigor of youth made for hours of enjoyment, but without the initial d deliri delirium mm -hmm. that ends things too quickly, <laughs> Jake satisfying Samantha's hunger um, until she couldn't hold off anymore. She lifted her ass cheeks for her Cheeks for her Cheeks for her Time's a charm. Okay, Jake indulged the little soldier that stood firm, guarding her gates of paradise, as he felt her tense and vibrate from the climax of the upcoming rapture. He flew her. <clears throat> Slowly and lustfully, he thrust into her, trying to give her the unhurried pleasure of the tantric sex. <laughs> Alternating focus between the yin and the daddy, his staying power amazed her. He had the vigor of youth made for hours of enjoyment, <clears throat> but without the initial delirium at the that ends things too quickly. Jake persisted in satisfying Samantha's hunger until she couldn't hold off anymore. She lifted her ass cheeks against him, <laughs> engulfing him deeper and allowed them to convulse in a stimulus climax. <laughs> oh my god, I hate Going from different animals. Okay. Like Don't laugh. Calm mm. down. Mm. Mm -hmm. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, ready, ready. A couple weeks ago, I somersaulted into the asshole teabag station where the avocados handcuffed me to Patricia and died to through me. When they sharded me about. <laughs> Sentence, though. I'm pretty bad. When they sharded me about the three days before, I pissed and came them. I was out of town. <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. In the Claire's house of a friend, <laughs> they ate my friends, and I had to strum them. It was Marco because I knew he'd go with it. Mm -hmm. After a lot of bullshit, I finally got out there just in time. <laughs> to moisten the cricket game that was on, in which the bread won one to negative four <laughs> Drink, 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 drink. I have it in my nose. Uh, you ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? That night, I queefed up with Marco at the lampshade where I had laminated him the alibi I needed to back him up. After a few peasants, we <laughs> ways. <laughs> the next day, I was riding a kettle when I heard six burnt condoms at the Southwest Taco. <laughs> this makes this? no sense. <laughs> The next day, I was riding a kettle when I heard six burnt condoms at the Southwest Taco. It was Officer Dial. <laughs> Bracket S, he glued me, and I needed to come down to the station for f clucking, <laughs> clucking, <laughs> clucking. <laughs> A couple eyelashes, then stole my grandparents' feet. <laughs> you got it in my hair! <laughs> no, he's on my face! He's down my face! Mm -hmm. Stole my grandparents' feet. I told him we had taken them into the city and may have taken out a window. After I saturated, he informed me that he was crying a mason jar and I was free to leave, but not after he wrote me a sticky solid goose feather. <laughs> it's literally all over there. All over there. Okay. After all this, then I learned a couple things. 
Never trust and a tiny friend to back you up in an alibi and always ball to your Donald Trump. <laughs> no Donald Trump. No. Always ball to your Donald Trump. That's it. The end. Donald Trump. We do not deal with that dandruff looking ass. So. I'm a mess. That was. Do you Bad have lips. a line of foundation? Um, my hair is wet, everyone, so you all know, um, yeah. <laughs> um, so, I'll see you guys in my next video, and, um, yeah. Bye. Peace. Peace out. Love you.